Hello everyone, Busy Gamer Dad back again for our third and final installment of Spire of Glory. Dun, 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 dun. Thanks so much for watching the first two. If you haven't, go back and watch those. This is a great game. I've been really enjoying my time with it, and I hope you guys have too. This game just recently came out. It's uh, still in this weird quasi kind of uh, uh, pre-release, real release kind of state for a lot of the content in here. It's very limited, but there is some good stuff here to keep uh, me coming back. I hope it keeps you coming back. I would recommend wishlisting it if you're on the fence about it. That's always an option. You can do so because I will put the description of the game and the link for it from the Steam page for you guys to easily access it and do what you will with it. On our last run, you'll have note that we did not have very good success. We kept on dying over and over and over again, which is kind of the core mechanic of this game. I'm really enjoying the uh, try die repeat mechanic for it and we have died quite a bit in spades uh, definitely some more embarrassing runs but we'll have to remedy that this time around hopefully we can get that w for ourselves i don't think i'm going to show you guys uh too much different in the gameplay uh i'll just go over real quick everything in the format uh is the same our gems uh they're along the top 18 common battles six elite battles five shops three lakes three treasure rooms this varies every single time you go in the crystals change you can go forward and backwards depending on what paths you unlocked big major note is that your treasure rooms do close off after a specific number of turns the gem colors do randomize every single playthrough and you can do a little bit of visual science to find out where your stuff is that you want to get to so it looks like the blue ones and the purple ones are our lakes and treasure rooms looks like the yellow ones are our shops and then the green ones appear to be our elite battles so we're gonna avoid these yellow ones for right now and we're gonna take some normal fights as always we start off with one single princess she's really tough don't be fooled I'm going to up the combat speed, and then bam, done. Hooray for us. I did leave our last video mechanics in here. We do have a couple extra buster swords in the common pool, just to try and pull them. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to try and play for money this round. As crazy as it sounds and as greedy as it might be, we'll see what ends up happening. We might rue the day that we did that. But I'm going to try and actually go into the uh, this purple gem right here. And hopefully that's going to be a lake for us to get an extra battle buddy I think we all have no problem fighting these bats off to get there nice good stuff yep and I'm gonna take that right there another common fight just jumping right into it gonna keep this moving forward as quickly as possible because even if we don't get it this run well I hope we'll get it in one of them I'm not changing my stats or uh, stance. Um, again, that was a common mechanic that was... Not common, I shouldn't say that. That was a mechanic that was used in the uh, tutorial to change your stat to active uh, or passive or aggressive or passive. So make sure you're doing that for the character classes that it makes prudent sense for you because you don't want your white or life mage. White mage, uh, life mage, moving up uh, into harm's way if you can avoid it. So let's see what we got here. This is probably, yep, I figured it would be the lake. I've seen the lakes appear a little bit earlier on than the uh, treasure rooms in most of my playthroughs. I think there's only been one playthrough where the lake has been in the same row, or uh, I'm sorry, same column as the uh, as the others, or as the, uh, the, the uh, treasure room. So I think we're okay right now. We got two battle princesses now. We're gonna try and make our way to this treasure room because we desperately need to. But first, I think we need to get to a shop. And so I'm gonna do that here. Two buster swords right out of the gate. I'm gonna pick those up and we'll reroll. Ah, there we are, perfect. We're gonna pick that up and we're gonna drop that onto our other brand new addition to our party. And then we'll reroll again. Oh, there's our third buster sword. And then I think what I'm going to do is the weird rock. Because that'll turn us into a tank, a beast, a golem. Yeah, a rock golem. And they function off of AD. Or AP, I'm sorry. Attack power, not attack damage. 
I'm not going to pick up the anchor, but I will reroll. And we'll get at the beginning of combat, CDR, AD, and AP. Can stack up to five times. I think I'm just going to go with the turtle sigil, and I'll drop that onto our tank. All right. Now I'm going to dial it back just a little bit, but after this next fight, we're going to jump into this common battle here, and we're going to fight, yep, and I'll tell you what, we'll do this. We'll change our stance to passive. And then you'll see that they don't move forward, that they actually stay quite reserved. Oh, yeah, and we'll stun them. Yep, that Buster Sword's coming in handy there. Yeah, and this is a pretty stellar combo here, the uh, Rock Golem and the Life Mage. All right, do I want to do attack power? No, I don't think I do, but there's a level 2 Buster Sword right there. That would really help us, but also so would the nine gems. Hmm. I think I'm going to do the Buster Sword. No. I'm going to do the money for now. Because we're going to have a treasure room here, and we're going to get plenty of nice loot for that. But we have six turns before we have the need to get that uh, picked up. So I'm going to take some common fights back here and see if we can get something else. Now, you'll have to let me know in the comments if you've played this game or not. If the sooner you get to a treasure room, the more likely you are to get more than one drop from the treasure room. Uh, if that's the case, then I'm not certain what to do with it. Um, if you want to sprint to it, that maybe makes sense. But if not, that's, uh, that's something good to know for everyone who's uh, watching these videos. Another big thing here that I wanted you guys to take note of is you saw how the Life Mage waited until our Rock Golem engaged in combat before they moved up. That's a key thing that you need to be mindful of when you're doing your own playthroughs. If you have a character stat uh, set to passive, that that's the mechanic and that's the function and flow of what they'll be doing. Now, I kind of want to do the helmet. Do I really want to do the helmet? That's the hard part. Hmm. Cool down. And what's your super? Call the Earth to protect your body based off of AP. Okay. I think none of these are really interesting to me for our playthrough, so I think I'll just take the cash again. And we'll take... This one here is an elite fight. And it's really early on, so you mo mm, let's let's hold off on it because we can pick that up whenever we want to. And then I'm actually going to change them back to pa uh, aggressive. Oh, there's another white robe. Ooh, this was something I talked about in our last video, and actually nice that we got it right now. So for the number of crystals that we hold, our currency, we actually get bonus armor and bonus magic resistance. So it kind of behooves you to hold on to your money. It adds a lot of health. Yeah, it's a big chunk of health. I think I'm... Oh, this is really tempting. This is a really hard one to pick. I think I'm going to take it because it's actually the first time I've seen it. I may regret it, but we can still recycle it for four crystals should we choose to do that. Yeah, so let's drop that onto our, our rock golem because they are our frontliner and they'll need that money or that uh, HP and such. Uh, you know what? Let's take this on. Let's take this elite fight and see how it goes. So you elite goblin guard and we'll see. We might end up ruining the day that we did that. Uh, I'll put you off to the side here, just so you can engage at the same time. Oh, why would you? Why would you stand there? You silly, silly! There you go. There we are. We won. Good job. All right. Let's see here. Anything worthwhile? Adds MR, heals. Nope. We'll just take the money for right now. We'll go on to the next. Three left. I think what I'd like to do, this path kind of terminates, but I kind of want to open up all the branches of it so that we can just finish it whenever we see ourselves fit to finish it. Nice. MZ attack speed steals a cooldown from the opponent. I'm thinking I'm just going to take the cash again because that will really help the armor scale up. There's a shop there. 
Okay. This is unknown at the point. This is the treasure room. Still, I don't want to take that just yet. Hmm. I'm thinking that if I do... This fight right here, it'll branch out pretty well to get us to the next treasure room in case, and then we can focus on going down this way to get to the last treasure room. Because those treasure rooms are actually critical to your overall success whenever you have a run going. So I'm gonna take this uh, this common battle here, and we'll just have it go. It's good that they're in two separate tiles. Yeah, having the life mage is kind of a must. I know there's uh, some achievements or something like that if you're an achievement hunter that you can do this if you can do this with all uh just princesses the base princesses good luck i don't know how you would do that or how that would work for you oh all right this is yep we'll get some better stuff increases your range so i'm thinking that if i did that for you or you hmm hmm, hmm, hmm. that's a little rough to pick that's 90 health but we're already getting a good chunk of health I think I am going to just take the range because it's a permanent attack or permanent range increase, which is uh, this one right here, five and you're at 1.5. So if I put the range on you, you'll be able to hit that much sooner. I think that's what I'm going to do as crazy as that sounds, because that means that we'll get engaged that much sooner and we don't have to worry about being right on top of them to start combat with them. All right, last turn for the treasure room. Let's see what we get for the treasure room. First one to open it up. One turn left. Oh, reduces the cooldown, get some money. I'm going to do the cooldown and then a bonus loot. Awesome. Oh, another one. I'm so glad I picked that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to pick that because if we get that third one, a third loot, crazy. I think I'm actually just going to take the money for right now three loots wow that's pretty impressive um do i want to make you just the the tank the beef and i don't know if these stack off to each other let's see so 120 adds armor based on so if i put one and then another oh yep you see it here first if you have multiples like that they will stack so that's quite good even though it's not stunning, that's still good. And I think I'm going to put the second level Buster Sword on our Life Mage because then they might have a chance to stun. Not that it's going to help them do much more damage, just that it's going to have utility for us to have some crowd control. That's an elite fight. I need to get to another lake. And those lakes are down here. But first, got to go through a shop. So let's, uh, let's do that. Let's go down through the shop here. I kind of want to save my money, so I'm not looking to really roll too much stuff here. Yeah, not really too much stuff. Roll that. Eh, we'll roll one more. Oh, that's a really good find. AP based on the number of crystals, but we're going to burn all our crystals when we go through and buy our next uh, companion. I'm looking for a class change item if I can find it. Last one. All right. Oh, they gave us the anchor. We'll take it. And we'll call it good. All right, we're going to take this common battle. And we'll just go right into it. Nice. Yep, you can attack speed, increase all your friends all you want. You got a rock golem to chew through that's got quite a bit of health. We definitely need to get that uh, third party member to help with the deeps. Make sure that we're getting some good damage out on these people. The other challenge is we need to probably get one of the other uh, people uh, classes that are available to us. I think I've only shown you guys just these three. The Sailor, the... Um, yeah, it looks like we're actually struggling with this. I wonder if we'll actually be able to do this. We might not be able to. Because they're constantly splitting. And we're not actually doing the damage that we need to do. So let me do this. There we go. So now this will work because we're going to be whittling down the one that's at the top. And every time they split... Oh, we might lose now. 
And that's understandable. See? Oh, bummer. We had a pretty good run going. 15 minutes in. And then we died. Shoot. That's the way it goes sometimes. But we should get a hefty amount for our experience bar. Yeah. Nearly filled up. All right. Start a new climb right away. Let's go into the shop. And let's get one of those. One of those. And one of those. Let's just pick up one sword. All right. And let's go into the one that dead ends to get that off of the plate. We'll see if this will work out. Maybe it won't. We're going to heal up. No problem. Yeah, we're definitely okay. This is going to take forever and a day unless we speed it up. I'm glad they gave us this utility to speed it up. I don't know what I would do. Definitely take the money. And then we're going to take... One, two, three. So this might be... This is probably a lake, so I don't want to take that yet, but I will unlock it. All right. Didn't really need to say too much about that. We definitely got it. For distance traveled. Good to know. All right. We're going to pick up the money. And that should be enough to get us our next companion. If this is not the, the lake. Nope, there it is. That's the lake. Eight should unlock our first companion friend. There we go. Good. And we have some stuff for them. Let's go to this common battle. And that way it will open up our three treasure rooms for us. And we'll put this onto our princess. And we'll have the exact same party makeup we had before. Uh, let's do... AP. Do you scale off of AP? It heals off of AP, so that gives you AP. Might as well leave it. Off we go. I will move you up here so you're not in the lane getting hit. There we are. Good job. Go team, go. Monkey tail, weight, or money. I think... I'm, I don't like the fact that I'm going to hurt myself, so I'm definitely just going to... And this one is okay. It's not terrible. You have to get kills. So I'm just going to take the money for now. And this is, an, um, this is the treasure room. Okay. So let's take as many common fights as we can. Get as much money as we can. And hopefully we're all the better for it. There. I believe they'll just stay in their lane. Yep, there they are. They're going to look to try and stay in their lane. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. A buster sword. We do have a level one buster sword there. Uh, I'm going to take the money, though, because I'm going to try and get to a shop here soon. And then I'm just going to kick this off. I'm going to speed through these at a three, try and get through them as much as I can. And I think we'll actually be doing pretty well if I can get what I'm looking for. Ooh. MR magic resist and the money. I think I'm going to pick the magic resist up for our golem friend. We'll take all these early fights just to get them off the board. There we are. Good. Those oozes. I have a grudge against them now. And then I'll take the money this time around. We're only two away from getting our next companion, or enough for our next companion, I should say. And then blue is the lake, so we need to go this way. There's an elite fight that's going to be in between us and the next companion, unless we take this one. Dodge that one like a champ. You see those moves? Two of the same, not really great, so we'll take those. 
Okay, so now we're at the we're now at the lake, so we'll get our next companion. Even though we don't have anything to really give them, I it's still better to have that number advantage. And then 50 for the next. I've you need to have at least four princesses or four characters if you're having any hope to make it to the end or beat the boss. So I will give you guys that little tidbit of information. All right. So we're going to do this is a shop. No, these are the shops. I gotta stop saying that. This one here. So I'm gonna go backwards now and finish up these remaining things. And we're just gonna house this guy. This poor little goblin just gets destroyed. Ah, oh, that's really good. Let's let's pick this guy up and then yep, put it on you. And then to the treasure room. Let's see here. Let's get that treasure room now. Yep. What did we get? Oh, okay, okay. Money, those, eh. steals it. Let's, let's see how this works with us. Oh, there's a level two anchor. That's hard to pass up when we need a class change. And a level two buster sword. That's gonna be pretty good to have. I think we'll do it. Okay. Then we have eight turns. There's an elite fight here. Let's take this uh, common battle. And let's just rush at him. Oh, wow. Our white wizard is just... Or life uh, wizard is doing work. I think these are big. These are good to have. And I think that will round out them very well because these guys will be standing next to each other. Um, hard to pass up on the money this time around, but we'll take these. All right. Common fight. So that's what I love about this game is you can go backwards and forwards. There's a lot of free flowingness and it allows you to go back when you need to go back and get more, uh, stuff that you need to get, uh, get stronger, get more powerful. And I'm looking for another white coat. So that way, white hood. So that will allow us the chance to get a level two um, white or life mage. Uh, we'll take the money because we'll that, we, you can always use money in this game. You absolutely can always use money. There's a shop there. So let's take the elite fight first. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll have to figure our way to. Yeah, let's take this elite fight and then we should be OK. You're the elite, right? Yep, in the back. You're just going to get destroyed. That's fine by me. Oh, you both are going to get destroyed. Never mind. Bam. Oh, we've gotten this before and it's come back to bite us. I think I'm just going to take the money. There's a shop there. Let's do... Shop. That's the loot we need to get. To. So we need to have two turns left for that. Everything up here is cleaned out, except for this and this. Let's go into this common battle. Get that done and over with. And just house them, show them our mad prowess. Oh, level two anchor, that's nice. Oh, this is exactly what we need. I think I'm going to just take that. And I think I'm just going to drop that right on you. This blood mage is OP. Crazy OP. Uh, let's... It seems like to get... We have two shops, so we might as well use one of them. Let's take this elite fight first. Well, you know what? Let's go to the shop first. I say that, but let's take it. Let's go to the shop first and let's boost up the shop once. There's the white hood. That's great. And we need these two things and then we'll leave it. Okay. And then we can take this common fight or this elite fight. I think I'm going to take the, con the elite fight here. Yeah, leave the common fight for after. This will be a good test of our abilities right now. Three on three. This wolf is going to be really hard to handle. Hopefully we can get to him. 
Dead. That's good. Nice. Yep, we're chewing through them very well. Perfect. Yep, the life mage is huge to our success here. Oh, Dempsey Gloves, rank 2. We have the rank 1 here, but we need the money. As appealing as these are, we desperately need that money. Okay, and that will give us just a little bit more, and then we can go to the lake. Let's go to the treasure room here. I believe it goes down to zero. I might be eating my words here. Yeah, we're going to have to clean these up pretty easily. Uh, there's that. This is good to get, but we need the money. Oh, dear. I think we're going to end up... Yep, we're going to have to take the money because we need that fourth character. Yep, we're going to do it. As silly as it is. And then there's the lake and there's the treasure room. We'll take this treasure room. And what do we get? Too late. So zero it is. Maybe next time. Choose a better path. So zero is the limit. You can't have any. You can't let it go to zero. But we'll go to the lake. And we'll pick up our fourth party member. Right there. And we will make them a sailor. Because they've always wanted to be a sailor. And then why don't we increase the range of our blood mage. And then call that good. And then we'll come back. So basically right now we have access to this. At any time we want to take it. Which is great. Which is what we want. Um, you can just run up there. And I think this is actually a really good party. I really think we're in control of this playthrough this time around. I say that and we'll probably hit a stumbling block one way or another. Um, I do want to get some money. But this ring is pretty good. Let's get the... Let's pick up the money for now. That we were not flat broke. So I love the way this game is balanced. This game may not seem like it sometimes when you get totally steamrolled, as you might have seen in some of my other pre previous runs, but it's actually really balanced and fair. It's just RNG in some ways, yes, but when you're actually in the fights, it doesn't let you feel like you're going to lose everything entirely. Uh, let's get the... antenna to help with the longevity of our players common fights. We're just taking all the common fights. We're going to blitz through them as quickly as we can. Yep, that, that antenna is really helping keeping our sailor alive. I think I'm just going to take the money this time. And then we're going to go to the... Oh, I did it again! Darn it, I did it again. Choose a better path. You're too late. All right, well, people are probably going to hound me in the comments for that one. But we'll see if we get through this playthrough with it the way we are. I just wanted to show you the real meta tr uh, strategy. You don't need treasure rooms to win. You can totally do it without, he says, as he hopes he can win. Wow, that's a lot of magic resist. This is not terrible at, I at all either. All enemies for 0.5 seconds. We'll do that one. All right, shop, common battle, elite. Let's do the common battles. Let's get those out of the way. So you'll note that the, um, oh, uh, we lost our sailor. He went down, but our blood mage cleaned up everything. Level two dice versus a level one and money. Let's do... I don't want to necessarily keep going fishing, I, I, but I think I might need to to get uh, any type of gear that we might need. So I, But I really like the idea of this. So I'm going to actually take that and I'm going to put that on instead. And then I think if I get rid of the buster sword there, I'll be a lot happier. And then we can just recycle that. There's a shop, elite fights. We'll finish up with we'll finish up all the common fights. Our sailor's probably gonna go down again, which is fine. I say that. But we're gonna win the rest of the day. Right here. Nice. Awesome, awesome. 
Oh, that would have been nice to have. I think I am going to... Do I really want to rely on... You do AP? Yeah, so that's quite a bit of AP for you. Hmm. Let's do that. Let's do the AP and let's get rid of this. All right, that's all the common fights done. That's only with a few shops left. Let's see. We'll just pick one. Not really worth it. Not really worth it. Not really worth it. Uh, we already have a level two hood. We need to upgrade the shop anyways. Let's do that. Nothing really worth it. Let's re-roll. No, nope, not really worth it. And we're out of money there. Okay, we're gonna click off to the next. All right, I think we're at the end of our run. We only have one more shop left and we're gonna have to blitz through these guys as quick as we can. I think we're okay. Nice, and yep, the sailor did the hook, which is great. I think changing that up worked out really well. Ooh, Pandora's box. Adds points that inflict a random status effect. But there's a whole heap of money right there. Hmm. I think I'd like the idea of this, but I'm not certain how well it'll work with our group. Let's do the cash. As silly as that sounds. And then let's go into the shop here. And a level one, but it's blue. Let's, there, nope, we're gonna be spending our money now anyways, so let's re-roll. There's, oh, there's the Pandora's box. I think it's telling me something. So why don't we do that? Why don't we change it up a little bit? Let's get rid of the dice and let's pick up Pandora's box. Let's re-roll real quick. Nothing. Oh, do we do it? Do we fish for it? We need that definitely, because that makes our rock golem level two. Let's pick that up for now. We're going fishing, hopefully. Nope, nothing really speaking. We need to get one more Thunder Wings for us. Hmm, do we see it? Do we see it? Do we see it? Nope, doesn't look like it's coming through. Doesn't look like it's coming through. All right, we'll go off we go. Take the elite fight. Oh, he's in the back. Oof, this will be a little rough. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna swap this out so that now you just have that going for you. And I don't remember, are you AD or AP? AP, okay. And you have AD with a chance to stun. So why don't we just swap that around on you? And then, yeah, well, let's, uh, let's have this roll. Here we go. Our sailors living through this one. That's amazing. You'll notice that I'm not trying to move anyone around. I haven't been trying to move anyone around this playthrough because it gets too chaotic to try and move them through. Oh, wow. Hermit's Bean heals every four seconds. That's kind of a big deal. That's definitely uh, something we want. I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to put that on you. Yep, let's try that out and let's see what it goes with. And then uh, we'll do one more elite fight. Yep, that heal is kind of coming through. Yep, make sure I move them out of the way. Yeah, we're chewing through them. Well done, team. Well done, team. All right, let's see. Level three. There, I'm going to pick the money up. And I'm actually going to go to the shop. Last thing, last tile. And there it is. Let's get those. Ones and ones. Oh, I didn't see the ones. Oh, I rue the day that I chose that. Not a big deal. We can always recycle them. But let's go fishing to see if we can get the other things that we might need. Oh, there's 
God's dice right there. Well, there's that. That synergizes that to a level two, and that's pretty stellar. Um, no. 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 We do have a stopwatch. Pocket watch, I should say. Let's pick that up for now, because that's level one, that's level one. Let's see if we get another one. Oh, there it is. And you currently level one? Yep. That's five. We'll try and see if we can go fishing for it to catch a whale. Simple Simon Metapyman for going to the fair. There we go. Awesome. Might as well keep going, seeing what else we can get, if anything. Um, nothing's really speaking to me. Uh, that's a little one. Let's uh, do that, and we'll get rid of the Buster Sword. And then we'll re-roll. Nothing. All right. I think we're going to be stuck with what we got. Yep, we're going to be stuck with what we got. Here we go. Now, I'm going to click on this. We're going to start it up. But you know what? I'm going to do my outro. This was Busy Gamer Dad. The game we've been doing our session gameplay series on is Spire of Glory. I'll have the description and a link for it down in the YouTube description below. I'm not going to do this fight. You should get here on your own. This game's been a lot of fun to play through. I highly recommend it. it. Even if you are on the fence about the weird state of, you know, the content and how much is there for you, wishlist it and find it when it's on sale. Good luck. Have fun out there. See ya. See ya.